This video contains some diagnosis of high voltage appliance and um, we're gonna be working around capacitors. So if you're not comfortable doing this type of work, then I wouldn't attempt this. This is intended for you know a technician who has some training but just doesn't know enough about this product. So once again, don't attempt this if you're not comfortable around high voltage. Customer said his fan was coming on and no compressor. So I did an amp draw at the compressor. And you can see I had zero amps. So I also checked to see if we had voltage going to the compressor. So we're checking voltage on the white and the purple wire. And we had voltage and no amp draw. So I pretty much knew at this point I had a bad compressor, but I thought it was a good opportunity to go through some of the diagging of the circuits in this air conditioner. So I wanted to start at the uh, thermostat and you can see here your red wire is your positive wire and your blue wire is your negative wire. And then you have your yellow wire is signal for the compressor and green is high fan. White is going to the furnace and gray is low fan. So we tested here and we went across blue and red and we had 12 volts there and then from blue to green it says it's calling for the high fan blue to gray no voltage it's not calling for the low fan and then blue to white it's not calling for the furnace and from blue to yellow we have 12 volts so it is calling for the compressor to come on this was set on a uh, cool auto so the next thing we can check here is at the circuit board so these colors aren't always going to match as a matter of fact I've seen these miswired quite a bit so we'll just check and see if we have voltage on the wires that we need it on so between blue and yellow and blue and green on this one and that tells us that the wires are good so if we didn't have voltage there then we would also want to check the wires behind the thermostat so there's a way to test the compressor and it's SC to RC equals SR. So that's your start and run to common. And so we're going to disconnect the wires here and we're going to get an ohm rating across those terminals. So we can see we have an open there, we have an open circuit there, and we have a shorted circuit there. So that does not equal the formula. So I've got one in my junk pile here that I went and tested and you can see I have 3.6 and 0.4 and that equals 4 so we have 4.1 so that's what a good one would look like. So after putting on the new air conditioner we don't recharge them or replace them where I work so we had 10 amps and the RLA for this one is 11 Point 0.1 amps so there's a chart that you can look at to see where you should be so this says we were should have been around 90 degrees and I don't think it was 90 degrees that day but I also didn't let it run for a half hour so you should let it run for a half hour then do that test so more importantly if you have a low amperage that's an indication of you've lost refrigerant so I see that uh, more often than this scenario here we can also do a drop test across the evaporator. So we have 64 going in, 42 going out. I also like to use this dual sensor type meter that I have. So you put one probe in the intake. And then you put the other probe in the closest output register. And you check to see that you have your 20 degree drop across the evaporator. So I hope that was helpful. Please like and subscribe and we'll see you next time.